Connor, the win last week over Rochdale, I guess on paper, it's looking like a, a really good three points against a league rival. Yeah, um, obviously we spoke about it before, they're a really good side and obviously I think they gave a good account of themselves. First half, I think we dominated. Um, been the same story for most games this season. We should be probably uh, another goal or two in front than what we were at half time. But performance wise, excellent first half. Second half, it felt comfortable up until obviously the error. Uh, and then obviously it's always going to be shaky. So there had a couple of chances that should probably, maybe they should nick a point. But I think over the overall way the game went, we deserved the win. So uh, it's important to get them three points, especially off the back of two league defeats. Tomorrow's season's take on Exeter. What can a game like this do for cup ambitions and ambitions to try and get to that third round potentially? Uh, yeah, listen, it's, it's the Dreamers Cup in the FA Cup. That's what it's about. But we um we know we know it's not the be all and end all for us this season. We obviously know what our targets are this season, and of course you want to have runs in cups and the FA Cup's a big competition to have a run in. And it can obviously help the club in lots of ways. But going to extra ways, it's a really really tough draw. Um, so we, we know we know how good they are, and obviously they're doing really well in League One. Uh, got a lot of good players, obviously a couple of players that have been in this level in the last few years, and Ed Francis and Milnick Ali and even Vincent Harper who played a bit on, on Tuesday night in the EFL trophy for them. So they're um, they're a good side, they recruit really well and they, they play they play a similar system to ourselves and they're a good footballing team. So it's, it's an unbelievably tough test for us, but we'll go down there, we'll we'll give it a good go and we'll we'll see if we can get a decent result. Yeah, what do you know about the opposition? Obviously, it's not a team we would have anticipated to play at the start of the season, but what, what do you know about them in terms of the way they like to play and the system they use? They, they, listen, they've, they've played a back four in certain games, but for the most part, they play a very similar system to ourselves with a box in midfield. So, um, yeah, they're excellent. They're a good footballing team. Obviously, League One's a really, really tough league, so they'll probably expect to try and dominate the ball against us a little bit more, but obviously, we like to have the ball as well, so that, that, that'd be interesting to see how that pans out. But yeah, really good side, really well organised, an excellent manager. Who's doing a brilliant job? So, to be competing where they are and obviously up the top end or sorry in the top half of League One is is an unbelievable achievement for a club of extra size. When you think of some of the big hitters in that league, so doing an outstanding job and we know how tough it is. It's not going to be an easy place to go, and we'll try to give a good account of ourselves and hopefully, as I said, try and make it a good game. In terms of injuries, then what what can you tell us about potential return dates if, if anyone coming back tomorrow or in the future? Uh, obviously, we see Danny Collins come back uh, and place and play some minutes in the in the last week. So. He, we'll be trying to get him some more game time if we can. He's, he's feeling good now and he's obviously on the way back. We have a couple of lads trained this week. Uh, Reese Brown trained, Reese Hall Johnson trained. Um, not available for tomorrow, but good to have them back on the grass. So there is people coming back. Chapman's been on the grass having a jog again too soon for him tomorrow. So we've got lads that are on, on the mend and on the way back. So we should obviously have the reinforcement back in the in the coming the next week or two weeks. So that's a massive positive for the group and it's important obviously to, to have them lads coming back and help out the group that we've got currently fit. Exeter are having a, a decent season in League One, like what lies for ourselves in the National League. On paper, it's looking like it could be a really good game of football. Yeah, it should be a good game. As I said, it's two teams that want to enjoy the ball, two teams that try and play ex expansive football, attacking football. So it should be a great game for the neutral. As I said, we've, we've got to be at our best, I think, to get anything out of the game. Um, and we've got to hope that we can maybe make them have an off day. But listen, if, if, they're, if they're at their best, it'll be a tough day because they're an excellent side. And, we know if we're at our best, we'll give anyone a good game and obviously it's no different tomorrow. So we'll go with our game plan and we'll go with the lads express themselves. We know obviously it's it's not a free hit, but the pressure is not, not really on us in terms of getting a result. If they're two leagues above and they're at home. So we can go there and play our style and, and see how we see we can come out with a result. I guess finally, how much is the squad relishing the challenge tomorrow afternoon? Of course, listen, there's a lot, as I said it before, there's a lot of players in our group that will have ambitions to play in League One and, and even higher up the pyramid. So it's a great opportunity for them to pit themselves against players at that level and see the level and see the difference. So it'd be great for our lads, as I said, there's a lot of them that'll have aspirations to get to that level one day and, and maybe in the coming years. So it's good for them to test themselves against teams like this and see where they're at in terms of how close they are to get to that level. Thanks for your time, Connor. Cheers, guys.